What's up, people? It's Meowgician. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a guild system because I use guilds and it is really important in my world so much that you can never change your guild. Ever. And that's true. And that didn't show me. There I am. So, this machine is my guild machine. It's all I really need. I've got four guilds. Spring Guild, Summer Guild, Autumn Guild, and Winter Guild. I've actually got a fifth guild, the, which is my guild, but no one's in that but me as of now and some mobs and stuff. But here's the machines and what happens is you push the button out here and it permanently puts you in that guild. You need five command blocks and there's an impulse which needs redstone and it's unconditional and then a bunch of chain unconditional always active. The first one is tag at P add shift guild and this is going to tag the person who pushes it with shift guild. Then do this one which is execute as at all that have tag equals shift guild and have tag not equals has guild. At S run title at S title comp parentheses join guild. That just says that they joined a guild so that they know it worked. The next one has the same execute command and then team join spring at P and then each one should be based on which guild they're joining and then the next one same um, execute command it's execute as at all and then you want them to have the tag shift guild and to not have the tag has guild then run execute as at all um, Oh wow, huh. Execute as at all. Tag shift guild tag has guild. Yeah. I this should have at at s. I I think that's better. And then tag at s ha add has guild. So this one will make it so they can't join any more guilds. Once they pick a guild, that's it. And then this last one of course is tag at all removed shift guild. So you don't even have to specify that to be hitting a certain person, just remove it from everyone because no one should have it. Those five make the guild system and all these just, this middle one says summer here, this one says autumn, that one says winter. And then you hide the commands and put a button which connects to the impulse block. And then once you've done that, you've got your guild machines and so this turns them into teams. And then if you want different guilds to have different colors, here's how you do that. You would do slash. Oh, and by the way, you need to do team add and then do your teams. So I did team add spring and then the display name you can do spring. And so I did this for all of them. Once you've done that for all of them and once people are joining them, you can modify the teams. So I can go in here and say team modify. I've got a lot of teams that are um, mob teams, but not actual player teams. So if I go in here, I can make it so I can turn friendly fire off. And that means autumn guild members wouldn't be able to hurt each other. And that's really useful. Another really useful thing I can do is the um, color. If I pick color and then say I do blue, all auto members will have blue names above their heads and in the menus I make. So the cat crystals right now, my name's black because I'm on team meow. And then once you've got all of these created, you make your other commands that are, um, that are like team based. And so I have some stuff like particles that different team members have. So with this one, execute as at all team equals spring. That's the basic kind of command you're gonna use that you're gonna have with guilds. And see all the people who are in spring, spore blossoms spawn at their feet every few seconds. I get the, um, well, the dragon particles. So that's it. That's how to make guilds. And then you can do so much with them. I basically run a lot of the whole server with guilds. 
But I don't want to take up any more of your time than I have to. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I may get to them. I may not. I am always on the server. So if you really have a question, come and join the server. Why aren't you here? There's literally nobody here. Like and subscribe and join the server already.